So, here we have a picture of a bull and a goal. Now, most small businesses, what we do is we are very reactive to stuff. So, um, so, so we, okay, right, I've got to, someone from the Order Center Facebook page, a Twitter profile, I've got to go to LinkedIn, so I'm, I'm now reacting to what, to what kind of what's going on, right? Um, but working backwards is very important. So working backwards from the goal. So before you start to really go, you know, hammer and tong into social media, you've got to think about what are the actual goals for your business? Whether it's in the next 100 days, the next six months, the next year, the next five years. What are your overall goals? Because one of the things, one of my bugbears with the whole social media thing is that people just do it for the sake of doing it, right? It's not pointed, it's not directed, it's not in line with any of their business drivers or their overall goals. They're just kind of just doing it for the sake of doing it because somebody said that they should do it, right? So the suggestion here is that you should look at social media in the same way you look at any other you know, as, um, facet of your business and you should tie it in. Otherwise, there's a lot of wasted energy right, in, in, in just kind of doing stuff for the sake of it. So thinking about your, your goals, what, what is your end goal? So for example, um, if you have a goal of generating, having a turnover of, of, of 100k, for example, and you have an average product value of, I don't know, 200 quid, um, that would mean that you would have to sell one and a half products a day, or something like that, right? On Twitter, if you were to engage uh, 50 people on Twitter, and three of those people actually bought from you, and on Facebook, if you engage 50 people and five of them bought from, from you, at the end of the year, all you would just have to have generated 4,000 um, Twitter followers and 2,500 Facebook fans, yeah, over the course of a year. And that, using those numbers, would actually generate, based on an average sell value of 200 pounds, 100k. Now, you can do, I can tell you that, you can kind of work that yourself. But what that does is, that puts some structure around your activities. So you're not just doing stuff for the sake of it, you're actually thinking about, okay, how many people are on my Facebook page, how many people do I actually engage with, and then how many people, when I'm promoting some of my stuff after I've, when I've got to that point where I, where I can start talking about my stuff, how many people actually go to the website and convert and actually buy something from me, right? Um, and, if, and, if I, and if, again, I know I've engaged 50 people and 3 people have bought, how much of that stuff do I have to do to hit my 100k turnover, 50k turnover, 20k turnover, whatever it is, so that you're actually making it a little bit scientific and not just doing it for the sake of doing it. 